guys, welcome back. My name is Katie and today I am doing the fall time, cozy time, book time tag. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure who created this tag, but I will find out and link it down below. Basically it's just a list of questions that have to do with fall and books and I figured no time like the present because it's raining pretty hard outside and it's cold and that's pretty much all it does during fall in Tennessee. So let's just get into it. The first question is leaf litter or fall foliage and for this one you're supposed to pick a book with hues of red, orange, and yellow and I picked A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin. I just got this book you're going to be seeing it a lot. Have not read it yet, but this is a book that takes place in the same world as A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones series, but it takes place a hundred years before the events of Game of Thrones. Super excited to read it. I just want to be in Westeros, and it's got this beautiful yellow to red, like, ombre-ish. Do you call it an ombre if it's not on your hair? I don't really know, but it's got this nice little faded background and it just reminds me of fall so I'm choosing this one. The next question is cozy sweater and for this one you're supposed to pick a book that gives you warm and fuzzy feel and how could I not pick Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've listened to this book, I've read it, freaking love it. It's about this girl that goes to college and it's her first semester and she's a twin and she writes fan fiction and it's so good. It's so good. You guys should definitely pick it up. It's, it gives me all the feels. Next question is fall storms and for this one you're supposed to pick the genre that you pick up the most when the weather is gloomy and you just want that fall type feel. For this one, I actually tend to pick up sometimes fantasy, but most of the time I actually tend to pick up like adult fiction novel, especially on the mystery side of things. So for this book, I'm actually going to pick any of Tana French's books. I love Tana French. I love her. All of her books take place in Ireland and it's about the Dublin murder squad. And so there are characters that overlap, but her books aren't sequels. And her characters are just amazing and I love and it's, there's like a little bit of mystery and you know they're witty but serious oh, so good if you have not read Tana French please go pick up one of her books Faithful Place is absolutely fantastic they're all fantastic she has written five of them I only have three of them on my shelf here but just go read it. Just go read them. They're so good. They're so good. The next question is cool slash crisp air. And for this one, I'm supposed to choose a character that I want to switch places with. And this one is very easy for me. It would be anyone in the Harry Potter world. Probably Luna, because I love her the most. Or Ginny, because I would love to be a professional Quidditch player. Granted, I want to go through Hogwarts. Even if it was during all this time, I would still go. I would still go. I would go. I would sell my soul to go to Hogwarts. The next question is coats and scarves and mittens. Oh my. And in Tennessee, we don't really get need coats and scarves and mittens until later. At least that's what I've been told. I've never been down here for winter before. But we definitely don't need coats and scarves and mittens now. But for this one, I'm supposed to choose a book that the cover is just awful and I just want to cover it up. Pun intended. For this one, I'm going to go with my bind up of the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't like this. I don't like the band at the top. I don't like the half a face. I don't like the bonus material included. I don't like the spine. The next question is hot apple cider, and for this one, I'm going to pick a book that is underhyped. And for this one, I'm going to go with I Am The Messenger by Marcus Zusak. Now, The Book Thief is very hyped. It is his more well-known book, and it's absolutely fantastic, but I feel like I don't have to recommend that to anyone. Like, people have already know about it, at least on booktubes, it's very well-known. But I Am The Messenger is very different from The Book Thief, but it's still equally as moving, and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I think you should pick it up 
even if you haven't read the book thief i don't know I, it's so different that you, you know you got to read them both but this one's under hyped and it's absolutely fantastic the last question is pumpkin spice and for this one i'm supposed to pick my favorite fall foods i think and for this one i am actually going to go with tea my nice fall mug i've got here today but i don't drink a lot of tea i don't i don't i'm i drink coffee all day long, I do. But when it's fall at nighttime, I just wanna sit down with a cup of tea. I don't know why. In the summer, I'll drink sometimes iced tea, but I won't drink hot tea. And in the spring, I don't drink a lot of tea, but fall, I do drink a lot, a lot of tea. That is it for this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am not gonna tag anyone, but if you feel like doing it, you can say that I tagged you and I will support your claim 100%. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!